Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how you can create your own custom map with Google applications and place whatever you want on it based on a postcode. Um, it's really quite simple. You need a Google account and you need your Google Drive and what you want to do is to create what they call a fusion table. Now you'll find this it's not by default so when you click on new go to more and you'll need to click on connect more apps when you click on that you'll see all these applications that are available um, which are quite incredible when you think about it and just search for fusion table and you will see it there Fusion tables in Google Drive. Now it's experimental. I don't know how long it's been experimental for, but there's a lot of documentation around people using it. So um, we've installed it and it's fine. So just click on that and install. Once you've installed it, when you go to click New, click More, and you will see Google Fusion tables installed. Now before you need, to, before you do this, what you should do is create um, a simple workbook table um, that's going to contain all your data and just to give you an example I've created this table in Excel where I've identified a town basically what I'm doing is I'm showing all the postcodes within a set radius of a nominated regional centre in Australia so the field I'm really interested in is this postcode this one here, this column so what I want to do is export this as a table. Now, you'll remove these top rows, so we've just got a simple table. Save it as an Excel file. It doesn't have to be CSV. You can have whatever columns you like. So once you've saved that, which I've already done, I've saved this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new Fusion table. And it's going to ask us where do you want to create your data from so it could be a Google spreadsheet that you can create your data in you can start with an empty table if you want to type it in but what we're going to do is we're going to import that Excel file so I'm going to pick this up there we go I've got my Excel table with the city some extra column data which I'm not interested in it for this exercise and the postcode. So I open that. It now imports this data. And what fusion tables will look for is first of all, do you have names? First row must contain the field name, which is fine. We select that. We give it our Fusion table a name. We want to allow export, which is by default, and a description. So we just finish that now. Now that's importing the data into our Fusion table. Now, Fusion tables will by default look for data in your table, which is geodata. Now, the fact that these are highlighted means it hasn't converted yet. And if we click on this, we can change, and you'll see that it's picked up the location and said that's a location. That is the type that we want in order to map our data. But in our particular case, we don't want that. What we want to use is a different column. So we'll just set that to text and save. It's this last column postcode that we want to set as the location. Okay. Now, if we had longitude and latitude in here, we could have used that. But that's not relevant, so we just save that. So, the Fusion table is now looking at this, and because it's highlighted, it's saying it hasn't yet been converted. And all we do is click on File, and you click the Geocode option. And you just 
begin in geocoding. Now, what's going to happen is because it's just using the postcode, it's going to think find this a little bit ambiguous because it's not quite a full thing. Now, it's going to go through that and it's going to come up and tell you that the geocoding's been paused because it's got this ambiguity after 21 records and it says add a location hint. And we know that this is Australia. We resume the geocoding. Now you'll notice here that the ambiguity is dropping. Because we've said it's Australia, it is now finding that these postcodes are relevant. Now I will admit that some of the postcodes seem to plot in rather strange locations. And it does have a little bit of trouble with Northern Territory. You also have to be careful that some of the postcodes you have may not actually be physical addresses. They may be postal related delivery locations like PO box centers and mail centers and that, which aren't actual physical locations. So those will come up as being rather strangely placed or unable to be placed. Um, it's reasonably quick. I did 3,000 postcode locations and um, yeah, I went away and had made a cut lunch, but that was all. Um, this is not taking too long. Right, um, we've now come back. It's completed that. Um, I just turned off the recording. We now click on our map. And what we want to do is find our map. And there you see all our postcode locations. Uh, plotted. So the location it's using is postcode include, even though it says map of city town. Um, regional center postcodes. Okay. So we can zoom in and we can see all our regional center postcodes. Now you'll see here that if you click on the little marker it'll tell you. So it's decided that postcode 4825 is sitting out there past Mount Isa which I somehow doubt. Um, this one here 870 sorry postcode 862 which was for Alice Springs. So as you can see, some of them are not quite correct. 872 for Alice Springs, yet here is the township of Alice Springs. So yeah, look, you've just got to take a careful look. Um, 4816. Some of these postcodes have come up. Um, Look, I'll leave it to you. It's your call. Um, this error can also be a result of the other application I used to capture the postcodes within that set radius. It may not have been quite correct. Um, getting accurate postcode data from free resources, it does take a fair bit of effort. Anyway, so what we've now got is we've got our map, which is great. You can change the icons if you wish. Um, if your data's got numeric information you can use this bucket feature which will allow you to change the icons depending on the value of that other column. But we don't have any of that. Ours is a very simple case here. So what can we do now? Well what we want to do, this is all great, so we can save our map. You can share this map with other people and they can look at it as is, and they can play with the data. But what you probably want to do, and which is what we want to do in our case, is we want to actually save this to a Google Map. So we want to create a Google Map, 
with these data points. And the way you do that is in the map view, you go to File and Download. And there is this option here, KML Network Link. That's the one you want. I mean, you can export in all these other file formats, but not necessary. For what we want to do, to show these points on a Google map, or my one of Google, to show them on your own map in my maps, choose a KML network link and save that link. Um, so we'll save that. Now we go to my maps. And I've just forgotten where it is because it's not there. So what I'll do is simply Google My Maps. There we are. I'm going to open an existing map. Because I've already created a map with postcodes for all the major postal zones in Australia. And you can see those here. Right, so all those dots are these zones, which I obtained from another source. As a my map, I can turn those off. I have a delivery zones, so that's these highlighted, and I have another layer called postcode, including major city. So what I want to do now is add a layer. And we're going to call this AU Regional Center post code. Right. Now we've got this new layer and we can import. And one of the things you can import is that KML link. So we select the file where we saved it. Here we have it, AU Postcodes Regional Centres. It is now importing that data. Luckily there's only about 160 records here, so this is not going to take too long. hasn't shown it. Okay, um, there must have been some problem with the import there. What I ended up doing was just exporting the um, data, download it. I just saved it as a KML file and um, imported that and it's fine. So we now see our data points. So what we might want to do here is we want to say, okay, we want individual styles by name. What that'll do is it sets for each name a different identifier, pin label. And what we then want to do is we want to say, well, okay, I want to edit this and rather than the pin, I want to show it as a dot. So we now see our dots, including one in New Zealand relating to Hobart. But anyway, as I said, <laughs> it does need a little bit of review. We just go through that and 
you can keep doing that to your heart's content. So what we're doing now is we're showing on our map Cancel. So what we're showing is our delivery zones, which actually encompass our delivery locations. So there's all the postcodes in those zones. And that's how you build your map and customize it. So that was a very quick run through for a rather complex set of information but it really was quite simple to produce once I had the data and look you can purchase copies Australia Post will sell it for five hundred dollars um, there are cheaper sources hunt around there are commercial versions of the postcode locations which give you the longitude and latitude which are probably a little bit more accurate than the data I've got some of my data is old um, it is an old version of the commercial. So anyway, that's it. Um, have fun. And you can turn things on and off as you wish. So I can hide those. I can hide my regional centers. And of course, once I'm in Google Maps, we can do all sorts of marvelous things like draw, placing new markers, creating new layers on those new layers. Okay, we'll create a new layer. It's going to take a little while. There we go. Right. So we will call this regional zones. And what I want to do on this is I want to show the regional centers. I'm going to hide. Now we'll keep the other zones. And we're going to pop in, zoom in. And we're going to say, well, there's a main zone but we want to create a zone around this so we can draw it it's really quite simple just plot your first point just keep drawing around and when you come to over the other point it will close it and this one we're going to call Bathurst Western. Um, Western New South Wales. Um, <coughs> it's taking the field from the original data. We're not worried about those. Sorry. We put this on the wrong spot. So we're going to delete that one. We want to add it to our regional zones. Make sure you choose the right layer. Don't do what I just did. We'll just quickly draw this again. There we go. That's better. Um, Western New South Wales. You can put a description if you want. And we save that. You can then... change the color, you can edit it, you can attach photos, you can get directions, you can delete. Uh, the other thing we might want to do is set the tr transparency level and the border width. And there we have our zone. So we've just added the zone. If I turn that layer off, it disappears. Okay, that's it. Have fun.